This is the year 2020. The world in which we live has evolved and changed to nearly beyond recognition. Our industry and employment have given man increased power in the realm of science. Our transportation continues soaring to new heights. Our home and leisure time is plentiful, satisfying, educational, and entertaining. And our means of communication? Truly out of this world. Well, that's not exactly how things are in 2020. But there's no doubt that technology has changed drastically. Who would have thought that a little city like Spanish Fork would be an industry leader in telecommunications and data delivery? But that's the kind of community we are. If you go back in history to the early 1900s, there was no electric service in Spanish Fork. And because the residents needed it, the city council realized they had a responsibility to provide that service so that the city could thrive and grow. And so in the early 1900s, they started their own power system, and that system is still operating today successfully. So let's fast forward to the newest century. The city was growing rapidly, but there was no high-speed internet options anywhere in our town, and actually none on the horizon. We were getting requests at the city of, you know, what do we do as far as citizens and mainly businesses, because the quality of, of internet service to them was very poor and in some cases non-existent. Uh, so we had businesses saying, well, we've got to move to Provo or somewhere else because you don't have the, the internet services that we need to operate our, our business. It became painfully apparent that cities without high-speed internet were going to become second-class cities. And just like the Council of 1900s, the Council of 2000 needed to make a difficult decision to keep our community vibrant and growing. Yeah, the city took the position of uh, well, what can we do in order to satisfy our citizens and satisfy the, the businesses so that they can have adequate tele, uh, telecommunication services. We realized back then, back in the late 1990s and early 2000, that, that telecommunications was going to become a utility just like water, sewer, and power that citizens not only wanted, but they demanded. As we began the planning of our community network, we looked at the technology trends and the delivery systems that were being used all across the country. We went to Noonan, Georgia, Scottsboro, Alabama, Ashland, Oregon, and, and saw what they were doing. And we saw that vision. Uh, and even before that, you know, we saw that, hey, fiber optics was something that was going to happen in the future. And we need to not only design for today, but we needed to make sure that what we were putting in the ground was going to be used for a long, long time. We considered, you know, what about wireless? Is that going to affect us? And back then and even today, we figured out that the speed of light probably isn't going to change much. And if you go fiber to the home, that was the ultimate objective. So what is this fiber? Fiber optic cables are actually hair-thin pieces of glass that you can send a signal through by using a laser to turn the light on and off, on and off, on and off, very, very quickly. The technology's been around for decades, but it has incredible potential and has, can operate at speeds well in excess of 10 gigabits per second. With that plan in mind, we began the construction of the Spanish Fork Community Network. What we created was a fiber to the neighborhood that delivered both high-speed internet, but also cable television, and later added phone service also. So about four years ago, we began the Fiber to the Home project. It's a big job, and we are grateful for our residents who have been patient with us as we build this out to every home in Spanish Fork. One of the rare things that we do for Spanish Fork is that we offer a fiber service at exactly the same price as the service previous. We don't charge for installation. We just give you faster, up to 10 times faster service for exactly the same price. The city's been able to continue building fiber to the home 
without increasing rates and without going into debt. Uh, and that's because originally it was uh, financed with a 15-year bond. That bond was paid off approximately five years ago. Now the money from that uh, that we were paying for the bond now without increasing rates and without going into debt is being used to build fiber to every neighborhood in the city. This is unheard of. And when I talk at national conventions about what we're doing in Spanish Fork, they are so surprised that we're capable of doing that. And we are really setting the standard across the country of how you can deploy fiber to the home. Thanks to our forward-thinking city councils of the early 2000s and even up to today for all of their support for the Fiber to the Home project. Excuse me, I have to take this. Hello, Mr. Gore. It's a cheetah. I um, mean, a nose. A nose. A girl. It's something that's in an apple. A firefighter. Fire is going to explode. Something that's white. Oh, fiber splicer. Your head gets cut off. Um, a sword. <laughs> A microphone that sinks. Well, our Fiber of the Home Network all starts at SFCN, at our head end. That's our main building. That's where our big fiber optic lines from the rest of the world come in and connect to our neighborhood and our network. So from the head end, the fiber goes either underground through conduit or overhead along pole lines to get to each one of these node cabinets, each one of these neighborhoods in our city. A node for us is a neighborhood. That's the equipment that feeds a neighborhood. And that's usually around 150 homes, give or take. So from this node, a fiber connection can be run to every home or business in that neighborhood that orders the fiber service. There's no sharing of fiber. There's no sharing of bandwidth. Every person, every customer, home or business, has a high capacity bandwidth connection. If our crews have completed the fiber optic install in your neighborhood, your internet nirvana is literally right outside the door. Having SFCM fiber has been a game changer. Being a contractor, usually when you're in construction, it's not easy to get internet to a brand new build. The ease that it's been to work with SFCN and, and to have fiber in the building has been huge from a construction and a business aspect for us. We have hundreds of laborers walking around with iPads. They're able to access all tons of data as far as construction documents, change documents, because of how good our fiber is. And in fact, most sites, they'll go for months where they're just going off a Wi-Fi hotspot off of the project manager's phone. That's crazy. That's not how you should be conducting business in 2020. It's just, it doesn't make sense. The only way to operate is to have fiber and to, to have high powered internet at all times. In my home particular with fiber, having fiber to our house, has been unreal because my son is a big gamer. He uh, he plays games, and my wife's a school teacher, so she's always on her computer, sending out emails and notes and stuff, and doing stuff and trying to get stuff off the internet for her teaching. and And I run my business at home, and so we've got three of us there relying on that internet and that fiber so much that with the new fiber. We don't have one problem. We don't skip a beat. Everybody is be able to get everything they need to get and, uh, and not feel like it's too slow or that. And for us particularly, it's been a, a godsend. Uh, there are five of us here in the home. Uh, I use my work laptop. She can work on her laptop. We both watch movies on our phones. Uh, kids can watch a movie on the TV and play on the tablet at the same time. Yeah, we've got iPads and, and Kindles and tablets for all the kids for homework and extra laptops for homework so usually after school it's really busy. Before we got fiber if she was watching a movie I couldn't be accessing the company's network at all. I have to download files that are some of them are a couple gig, some of them may be bigger than that. <laughs> you know it, it downloads them almost instantaneously I don't have any lag. Please don't take away our fiber. In, in my home there are five users of the internet 
at any given time, all five of us through school uh, or personal or work have a laptop device. And then we consume some of our television through uh, over-to-the-top internet services. And so we'll probably have five laptops, five cell phones, one or two TVs potentially going, and we never bump into each other. We never buffer, we never have a problem. Uh, and that's because we have Spanish Fork Fiber. SFC and Fiber has been fantastic. So there's seven of us here at the home, and my wife and I both work in software, and we gotta be able to get on the internet and have fast speeds, but at the same time, we now have to compete with five kids that are either watching movies or playing video games, and if they can't get the right speeds on their video games, they're yelling at us, and if we can't get the right speeds of doing our work, we're yelling at them, and it's just crazy, and so we needed to have fast internet to be able to handle all the uses that our family has. Spanish Fork Fiber is blazing fast. Dad's become the hero because I was able to get the internet here to the speeds that the kids want. They're able to play their games and watch their movies and not step each other. And that's a good, great position to be in. That's my grandfather. He sure loves his fiber. He enjoys a good fiber breakfast. It helps him feel spry, active, and regular. But when it comes to connecting with the family, he relies on another type of fiber, his SFCN fiber. When the great grandkids come over and they want to play, it's good to know you've got the bandwidth to play hard without interruptions. I love fiber. Get your fiber and be a more regular guy. In my eyes, there have been few decisions made by the city through the years that are monumental and community changing. SFCN is one of those. Where we are today, I think is, is even beyond where we hoped we would be. Uh, I think we're way, way further than the original concept, both in service that we provide and the quality of service that we provide. SFCN provides a utility that no other community has. Communities might have access to internet, cable TV, and, and uh, telephone services, but they don't have access to a service run like this, as inexpensive and as quality as this. I've had numerous mayors come into my office and say, how did you do this and how can we get this? I've, I've had neighboring cities saying, we want your, your fiber. And uh, I said, if we could find a way to do it, we'd get it to you because yeah, they're, they're envious of what we have and what we, we do here and wish they could do it. I had another neighbor tell me, I can never leave. I said, this isn't the Hotel California. And he says, no, seriously, I can never leave Spanish work. I have the highest tier of internet and I can't replace it. And I cannot live without it. What Spanish Work Community Network has accomplished is something that I don't believe any, well, I know no city in the state and probably no city in the country has been, any, been able to do. We've been able to build fiber to the no, home of every home in the city that wants it. We've been able to do that without increasing rates. And the nice thing, it's a great price because we bring fiber to the house at no cost, but you know, it's a service that you pay for, but it's one of the lowest costs around. We're cheaper with our internet than most cities around the state. And so by doing that, we can provide for our citizens. The vision of SFCN and bringing fiber to the home started at the beginning, but we put it off knowing we weren't ready for it. We couldn't afford it. But today, as we've been building it, taking it to the home, providing this service to residents with no upgrade fee, with no installation fee, with no, you've got to have a higher tier, your, your same tiers if you're on our plus or, and our, our premium tiers, you'll get just faster service, no extra money. It's unheard of. It's, in fact, many would say it's crazy, but it's not crazy, it's community. And, and so what we're doing is just simply providing the best service that we can, but we're not taking advantage of, of people because it's us. We got fiber, yes we do. We got fiber, how about you? All right, how are you? The speeds have been amazing since we moved to FSCN Fiber. Game-changing. 
How fast is SFCN fiber? It's as fast as the speed of light. And if downhill, faster than the speed of light. Do I love my SFCN fiber? You are dang right I love it. It's the best in the world. The Fiber to the Home project guarantees the success of the Spanish Fork Community Network. We provide the fastest, most reliable, and technology advanced system in the country. And with this technology, we will continue to offer the very best service available anywhere. I invite you to give us a try. Just take us for a spin and you'll see that the Fiber to the Home project offers dizzying speed.